Welcome back. We're here with video number three on the DIY Kit Challenge 2022. As you can see, we finished the guitar with a beautiful oil finish. It dried thoroughly, so now we can start assembling the kit. And step number one would be getting on the tuners. So let's go. So I got my glasses on, so we're ready to roll. As you can see, I already kind of like prearranged my tuners. Also, make sure to, to have them lined up correctly, because as you can see, the tuners on the left-hand side of the pack are different. They're mirrored to the ones on the other side. So kind of like make sure to have them aligned properly beforehand. Also your ferrules and your screws. So I would say, let's just start. Tuner, take your screw screwdriver. Don't tighten it too much just yet because we still need to insert our ferrule. So you can see our tuners are quite wibbly wobbly loose um, in, in the tuning pack so we're now installing the ferrule so you need this lay there get the ferrule and also just hand tight. Next one. Five and the last one. So now it's time to tighten them. Take your 10 millimeter wrench and righty tidy lefty loosey. Also make sure to not overdo it, just tight enough, but don't you don't want to squeeze the wood underneath it. Alright, now we can really drive in those screws. And one tip, those stickers on the tuners, I would just recommend to leave them on until right till the end, because as you see, we're dealing with like screwdrivers and stuff. And if you slip, if you should slip, I hope you won't, <laughs> the little sticker kind of prevents any scratches. Cool, we're done with the headstock. Tuners are on, let's check out the body. So now it's time for the marriage, we're gonna marry our neck and our body together. So first thing, of course, we need to insert the neck. Make sure you got some, some space up there because the body and the neck are at an angle to each other. Okay, we got it in. Then hold the neck in place. Then you see we do have two different kind of screws here. A, stay where you are, a shorter one and a longer one. And since we are having a neck pickup and our tenon is a long neck tenon, so it reaches almost until the end of the pickup cavity, we're gonna use the short screws here on the hole beneath. And that one, that one is getting the longer screw. Okay, so the plate and then longer screw. Make sure you have the plate aligned correctly because it's not a proper square, it's more of a rectangle. So the distance from here to here is longer and you need to take that in mind because otherwise your holes won't fit. So we did a good job here. Okay, now we're in the stage of tightening. Make sure to always do it like in a cross. So if you, we started down the right, the next screw would be up left. Then top right and the last screw then would be bottom left. And you can see, installed. Now, electronics and the posts of our bridge. Okay, now it's time to install the bolt or the studs for our bridge. Now, for me, that's the most important part now. Please do not forget to get your wire to the bridge installed. Otherwise, your guitar will hum as crazy. And I think it's one of the most common mistakes when people are building DIY kits that they're not installing the bridge wire before. That's the black one, black single wire. Let's go. Here you can see we have the super, super, super tiny hole. That's where we will install our bridge wire. Okay, so now you can see we got a wire here and it's sticking out like, I don't know, 10, seven centimeters. We don't need that so much. So we can push it back a little. Also make sure you got all of your parts and switches tucked in underneath. So you're not like, that it's not lying on the body. But anyway, back to our cable, to our wire, get it back. You could, of course, if you want to, you could um, get some of the isolation back so you have more of the plain wire 
it's just right there in the hole, maybe like sticking out one centimeter. And then we are ready to get our bolts in. Okay, to install those, we need to screw them off. Start with hole number one, make sure you <laughs> hammer it in, in, in the right direction. And I always like to use, if, you're, if you don't have like a rubber hammer, I like to use something maybe as a sanding block out of cork or a piece of wood so you, that you're not banging, at least at the end when you get banging in harder, that it's not like metal on metal. At the beginning you can of course tap it in carefully. And again, slowly, no need to like bang as crazy and then maybe you hit the guitar, we don't need that. So now you can see we're at almost at the end. That's the stage where I like to use something like that because otherwise the chances are just too high that you slip and hit the wood. And now the last one. Make sure your wire is sticking out just enough, then slowly. So now we can install those. Just screw them in. right till the end, not too tight because like we're gonna install the bridge later on and no need to measure or estimate any any distance or something like for a pre setup. No need to just screw them in and we'll take care of that later. All right, now we can install the potties and the switch. All right, now let's take the guitar, carefully flip it over and time to get our wires loose. So we don't need you at the moment. First thing to get out of the way, I would like to install our output jack. Make sure to unscrew the nut and the washer and squeeze it through the hole. There we have it. Take the plate, washer goes on. Here we go. Okay, now let's tighten it. As always, don't overdo it and we're good. Guitar goes onto the side. And we can now drive in our screws to mount the jack plate. Then we need to install our pots and our switch. You can see the diameter of those <coughs> three holes is different. And as we got two pots and one switch, we can assume that this one, the bigger one, is the one for the switch. And yeah, let's install it. Okay, now we can just remove our washer or not. Here we go. Right, now it's time to assemble the parts and to know which one's which, so which is volume and which is the tone. That's simple. You can see this one's got a little cap here, that tiny green thing. And most people would prefer the tone knob on the bottom position, so we're gonna do that. Take a washer and a screw. Not a screw, nut. Okay, now volume part, same thing. Washer goes straight on, do not tighten it. So when you're tightening, make, make sure to have the, your thumb on them from the back so that they're not moving like in circles and ripping off any wires. Start with the volume knob, tone knob. Right, now, finally time to install the pickups. So now let's install the pickups. Of course, the most important thing to know is which one's which. So which is bridge and which is neck position. And that's simple. Just hold the necks to each other and you will see that one of them has a bigger mounting ring, the plastic thing, than the other. So this would be our neck pickup. This would be our bridge, pick bridge pickup. Start with the neck pickup. Tuck all your wires and the guitar in. Flip it over. Pole pieces. Those are these things with the screws in it. They go in this way. So make sure you don't mount the pickup accidentally in the wrong direction with the pole pieces facing towards the bridge. So pole pieces face towards the neck. Take your wire, insert it into the hole. You can see here that we are coming out of the cavity into the next cavity. And next one, which we will then come out with our wire into our electronic cavity. Place the pickup in. Mount it correctly, tuck in the wire in the back so you're not like scratching anything in case you've 
painted the guitar, and then we're ready to screw it in. Okay, so everything is sitting flush on the top, so no gaps, and we're ready to move on to pick up number two, which is the bridge into the hole that leads to our electronic cavity, because on the bridge pickup the pole pieces are facing towards the bridge. And here we go, tuck in the wire in the back, and we're ready to screw in. Here we go. Starting to look like a guitar, finally. Cool, now we're ready to install and to connect all the connections inside the electronic cavity and to make sure and check if our electronic is working properly. So we now got four wires and four connections. Which one's which? Okay, so first the neck pickup has the black wire. Bridge has the red. So those two wires are coming from our pickups. Then this is where it gets interesting. If you take a closer look on the switch, if you align it in that direction, this one with a red lead, further one down there, that is the bridge connection. So this is the input that should be connected to the bridge pickup. And this one then automatically would be our neck. Let's connect them. So red bridge, this is the bridge input. And this one, the only that's the only one left. Let's connect them. Here's the cable that goes into our amp. Insert it. Start up the amp. This is our switch. Everything's cranked on the guitar. Neck position. Seems to work. Both. Bridge. Works, perfect. All right, now final steps. Let's install the potties, so the, the knobs for the pots. And one thing to keep in mind, just do not force them on there. Again, use your left hand to push back on the pot you want to mount the knob on, so that way you don't run into the problem of accidentally pushing your knob out. So, and here we go, push, and here we go. Next one, again, push from the bottom, push from the top and double check and we're good. Knobs installed. So we now can finally close our electronic cavity because everything's working fine. So no need to leave it open. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna install our strap buttons. Not slip with your screwdriver. Okay, here we are, in case you're wondering why I did not install any strings or install the trusted cover. That's because we got a very cool video coming up next because Sophie, she's a luthier and she will use our Harley Benton tools to get like the nut adjusted even better, set up the whole guitar. So therefore there's no need for me to be in the way of her and do things that she will have to remove anyways. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video. And until then, have a great day and bye bye.